Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have been doing the uh, Marguerite Miller um, weekly collage challenge. Um, um, I just got my book on February 22nd or 23rd, I don't, 23rd, I guess it was. Um, so I'm like two months behind, but I've been trying to catch up. Uh, I did do a couple of them on camera. Um, but I've done some off camera, so I'm just kind of going to go do a flip real quick. Um, this is her book that she, um, the planner that she offers um, in her Etsy shop. It is a great deal. Um, $22.50, I believe it is, plus shipping. Um, I ordered mine and had it within seven or eight days, something like that. Um, the quality is amazing. I will link that um this book down below if you want to purchase this but she does have it where you don't have to purchase anything that you can just um, compete in the challenges so I'm gonna go ahead and get started here so week one we did or um, I did on camera um, there is a video to that um, and on this I just kind of journaled about the prompt, I had a difficult time with the prompts. Um, I've never done prompts before, and so I thought it would be easy, but it just really challenged me, So, um, which that's a good thing. This is week two, and in the video, I did not have a tea bag, um, but I did find a tea bag, and so it still has the tea in it. Um, so what I've done is I've just kind of paper clipped it on so that I can go back at some point and try to add that in. Um, then we go to week three, and I've done this one off camera. So, um, the prompts are a barcode, a photo or a portion of a photo, a thing, a clothing tag, text in a different alphabet, and then the bonus was handwriting. So, here's my barcode, and what I've done is I just made a little um, bookmark with that, and I've got it attached with one of those um, light bulb looking pens. So that's my barcode. A photo or a portion of a photo. What I've done was I um, used a negative and I just put an embellished paper clip on the side so that I didn't have to glue the negative down so that um, if somebody's looking through it, they can pull the negative out and they can actually look at it. So that is my photo or portion of a photo. Um, a thing, for my thing, I used a bird cage and then I have the bird looking at his bird cage. Um, the next thing was a clothing tag, and that's where this pulls double duty, because this is my barcode, but it's also a clothing tag. It was off of a Minnie Mouse shirt. Um, text in a different alphabet, and that is German right here. Um, and then the bonus was handwriting. So this is a receipt or an invoice from, I'll look at it in just a minute and figure the exact year but I didn't want to tear it up. I didn't want to destroy it, even though it does have some damage to it. So what I've done is I've just glued the back part down and I made it into a clip and it's tucked into itself. So you just open this up and there you go. And it's from 1956. So there's my handwriting. And then um, you just tuck it back in itself. And so that way, um, there's not really any bulk associated with it, but I did keep, um, I, I, just, I really didn't want to tear it up, um, but I wanted my handwriting in there. I wanted that bonus. So there's that week. All right, then we come to week four. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the prompts were numbers, graph paper or line paper, an art scrap, a book page, a portion of, um, an old sticky note, and then the bonus was instructions. So there's my numbers. Um, graph paper or line paper, I actually have two different things because this is my sticky note right here, but it's line paper. And then this is um, some ledger paper. An art scrap, this is one of um, a piece of one of my um, watercolor paintings that I've done. So there's my art scrap. A book page or portion of, well, that's where this does double duty. This is some um, out of the junior, um, 
Is it Betty Crocker or better, whatever, the red and white checkered um, book. It's from 1950 something. So this is the book page. And then this is also goes with my bonus, which is instructions. Um, so that done double duty. And then um, an old sticky note. It's not real old. It's probably a couple of months old. Um, it was part of my grocery list. And so I just cut most of it off and then use that. And then this here is just a piece of a snippet roll because this page was missing something. So that's why that's in there. Now, before, um, well, this one's okay. It's the next page I have to, <coughs> excuse me, explain to you. So this one was a business card, a sticker, um, a security envelope design, text other than English or your native language, a place, and then the bonus was textured paper, blank, or something on it. So here's my business card. I actually used one of my business cards. I apologize for my dogs. Um, a sticker. I actually have two stickers. I have this one and then these butterflies here. Um, those are on a little sticker tag. The next thing was the security envelope design. So here's my security envelope design. And I didn't really want to do a lot with it. So I just kind of... Um, inked around the edges some but I left it and I just made it to where it flips out and it's a window so you can see the um, butterflies underneath uh, text other than English or your native language that's where this is this is another page out of the German book a place well here's my place and the bonus is textured paper um, blank or otherwise well this is my textured paper let me get it where you can see it and what I've done is I just took my um, ink dauber and I just kind of rubbed over the top of it. So it kind of picked up where those, um, <coughs> excuse me, where the texture actually is. Now, this next page is the one I have to explain. <laughs> yeah, I know. Peanut butter. So it asks for a list, anything from the grocery store, a piece of washi tape, uh, architecture, a star, um, a bonus was something that came in the mail. So my list is actually in this. So this, this is um, my um, something, anything that came from the grocery store. So that's where my Jif peanut butter thing comes in. And I've done it to where it's like a matchbook. So when you open it, we have my list. And this was something to do, um, this is probably a year and a half ago. Um, whenever I was um, getting my embroidery business started and so that's part of the list um, anything from the grocery store uh, a piece of washi tape there's my washi tape um, architecture there's my architecture right here um, a star here's my stars and I just made this into a tuck and so I just um, tuck my little list right back in there and then I can close that up just like that and there's no bulk really and bonus is something that came in the mail well that's these two pieces right here um, they actually were together um, they came in with my bank statement it's for um, FTD flowers or something like that um, <clears throat> excuse me but I thought it looked pretty decent you know considering I have a Jeff peanut butter thing on it <laughs> So now I am, oh, I'm getting caught up. So I am now on week seven. I'm so excited, y'all. Um, <clears throat> so for week seven, the prompts are something with a bit of pink, um, a place, a piece of newspaper, a form or portion, blank or filled, um, text other than English or your native language, and then bonus is an art scrap. So I have pulled some things but if my track record is anything, hang on. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. My husband came um, offering me pizza. <laughs> so, anyway, um, like I was saying, I have pulled some stuff, but my track record is that it doesn't matter that I pulled something because I end up not using what I pulled. So, we're going to see how that does today. 
Um, something with a bit of pink is definitely not a problem for me because pink is one of my favorite colors. Um, I, I tend to be a very girly girl, but I'm a country girl, um, all the way. Um, so something with a bit of pink. I've got a bunch of papers kind of pulled over here. And these are just some of the little, um, what is that, four and, a, four and a half by six or something like that. Um, so I have a variety of pinks. Um, I also brought my um, bag of scraps um, because I may not need something that big and that's got a lot of pink in it. Um, although I did use a lot of my scraps today. I'll show you what I did with that. Um, a place. Um, I have some shabby daddy. I'm sorry for reaching. Um, shabby daddy, you dog. Yeah, there's some stuff in here that I can do for a place. This is, um, I think, from Mayfair. Um, a form or portion. Oh, a piece of newspaper. Now, my newspaper, I had already taken my newspaper and I had already made an envelope out of it. So, I may try to use this. Um, as my uh, newspaper in this prompt. So we'll, we'll just see. Um, a form or portion, blank or filled. And I'm gonna go back to this stack. And as you can see, it's not something that I would use in a, a journal or anything that I'm gonna sell because there's damage to it. But I have a bunch of forms in here. So um, I should have plenty to choose from there. <clears throat> Excuse me, text other than English or your native language. Um, I have this um, old German book, you know, I'll, I'll go back to it. Uh, I don't know what the date is. I can't really, I can't read it, so I have no idea, but you can see it's pretty old. Um, so, I have my text other than English or your native language, and then bonus is an art scrap. And so, I just brought some more of my... Um, watercolors over here. This was just some of my doodles and playing around. So I'm sure um, there's something in this that I can find. Okay, so we'll get started. Oh, let me show you this real quick first. This is what I did today with some of my scraps. Um, I just kind of went through and just collaged it all. Um, and I, I done it onto cardstock. And I can actually use this to make tags, um, something like that, in the future. So that's just some of what I did. Um, I just, you know, I didn't want to waste it. Okay, so let's get started. So I have my newspaper uh, place. Let me see what I want to use for place. Now, I have a bunch of Shabby Dabby Doo Dog stuff. Now, the one thing, um, I may have mentioned it in some of my other videos, how I store like my um, digital ephemera and stuff after I've already cut it out. Um, I actually use these clear CD sleeves and I try to label all of them and I don't fold it down, I just leave it up so that it's easy to be seen. And then, how I have it is I have these containers and so it's all stored in there and it's just sitting right there on my desk um, so I can easily get to any of my um, digital ephemera so this is a place here um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use that one let me just look and see if I can find another one yeah, that's got a place on it um, Again, I have so much. I just knew that the Mayfair had um, some good places in it, so that's why I pulled um, the Mayfair. Okay, that's enough to get me started. That, a piece of newspaper, we've got that. Um, text, other than your native language, um, we have that. I think oh, that sheets. Let me get a sheet of this out. Oh, you know what? I think I already have a sheet torn out. This don't have enough on it, um, so I'm gonna use save that for something else. But I think I have yes, 
And that's the other thing, um, this book, it comes, um, there's some pockets back here in the back so you can put stuff. And then my art scrap, again, I don't know what I'm gonna use. Okay, so let's get started. Um, this is pretty big, so I'm gonna kinda need to build around that. So something with a bit of pink. Let me just kind of look at some of my scraps here. Because if I don't have to pull out, oh, look at all of this pink. Saying, okay, I love pink. I just love, love, love pink. It is truly one of my favorite colors. Okay, I think we have enough to make a decision with here. Um, as I'm still plundering through the bag to see what else I can find. Pink. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad about doing stuff like that. Um, and I just have such a hard time making decisions a lot of times. Especially when there are a lot of choices. Yeah, I have a really difficult time. Okay, and I'm just making it more difficult on myself because I have all of this pink stuff. Okay, let's put that to the side. So now what do I want to do? Um, I'm thinking that I want to... Oh, yeah. That I'm definitely, I want to use that somehow to frame my newspaper. Let me try to get this in camera a little better. I want to maybe tear some of this out and use it to frame um, to put this on so it's not just washed out against the back of the paper. Um, so let me go ahead and do that because I think that's what's going to um, determine which direction this is going to go. And I don't need that big of a piece, so I just tore a little piece out right there. And I'm thinking, thinking I might like it like that. Okay, so let's just see. Now we have a place. You know what I could do? I could glue this down, but leave it as a pocket. And I can tuck this in as a journaling card and it's got the place on it. Um, a form or a portion blank or filled. Let's see. What do we want to use? Let me pull this out. This is from 1956. 1956. About something. Hmm. Let me see. I love looking at all of this old stuff. Um, it's my problem is I get lost. Like when I start doing stuff like this, I just get lost. I mean, to look at this. Um, this was from March 1st, 1956 from the Planners Exchange. Um, and the prices are just amazing. And whoever this was purchased a lot of stuff. Wow. It's crazy. Okay. That's a pretty big form. I don't know that I want to use all of that in there. And I really don't want to tear it up. So, even though it's all damaged. Um, so, I think this is going to be my form. And I'm thinking what I may do is so that it, I preserve this. Because I may fold this up and put it in the envelope. Uh, text other than English or your native language. So we have this. Okay, so this is going to be like this. And I need to um, do something to get that color um, to where it's not blended in. So I think what I may do is I may put my art scrap. <clears throat> Excuse me, put this up there and put my art scrap on it. So I think what I need to do is go ahead and start gluing this stuff down. Um, now, the decision is what color do I want to ink with? Um, I want, of course, me, I want to go with the pink um, Victorian velvet. But I am wondering if I should use a 
different color. Um, to really make it stand out. So I think I'm going to try, I'm using the faded burlap, frayed burlap, I think that's what it is. We're gonna see how it works. It's just not as dark as the vintage photo, which I love. Um, but I'm just afraid that the pink may be overkill because I'm probably gonna end up putting a lot of pink on the page. So let me go ahead and ink some of this stuff up real quick. So um, as, how many of you guys are doing the challenge as well? Um, if you are doing the challenge, please comment below and let me know. And if you have a YouTube or, um, you know, somewhere I can see what you've done, I would love if you would share it so that we can all visit each other and see and kind of give some, each other some inspiration and kudos, whatever. Now, I do want to round the corners of this card. It's not necessary, but I do want to um, round the corners, and I am just going to get my um, corner chomper, and I think that's, I'm just going to round it um, with my corner chomper. And I'm not going to do, I might better do the bigger one, because that you just really can't hardly see it like that. And so I'm just rounding the corners and just gets it a little bit more of a defined look. Um, and then I do need to heat this up. Now I'm wondering if I should ink this with pink. Let's do that. Let's ink this one with pink. And let's just see how it looks. Um, It doesn't need a lot, but it does need some color to added to it. Alrighty, and I'm putting the wrong covers on the ink pads. I'm just setting them out of the way for now. Okay, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to put this stuff right here. So the first thing I need to glue down is this. Um, I normally use um, the Aileen's, you know, if it's not anything real heavy, I'll use the Aileen's um, Quick Dry Tacky Glue. Uh, but I will say that the Fabri-Tac or the Beacon 3-in-1, that's just, that's the one I always go to. Um, I'm just real thin squiggles, I guess you could call it. I'll put it like that. Put it about right there. Okay, now my husband had given me a whole box of um, like, I don't know, gift card type blanks or something. And I'm sorry for going off camera, I'm just getting a stack of them. I have this whole stack of these um, great glue spreaders. Okay. Now I'm going to glue this down right here. And remember, I want to leave this um, as a pocket. So I'm just going to glue on these sides. Um, like a U. Look, out. Look at how that fabric tag's doing. Huh. Somewhere I have a paper towel, but I don't know where it is right now. So we're just going to keep going. And I'm just doing a U. I'm just making sure I get it covered in that U. I might put the lid on this so it doesn't bubble up again. And then I'm just gonna set that right there. And I'm gonna give that a couple minutes to dry, uh, try to put the card in there. Um, I will run it through. Okay, yeah, I got plenty of room. And you see my newspaper is torn, but that's okay. So I've got something with a bit of pink. I've got a place. I've got a piece of newspaper. And then we wanted to do the form. And like I said, I'm going to leave it just like this. I don't want to, I don't want to do anything with it that would mess it up. I want this to be enjoyed. 
So I am just going to stick this down in the envelope there. I think I got it folded up enough. Nope. I didn't. Uh, let's see. Let's do it in thirds, maybe. And then fold it like that. That's short enough now. And we can just put that in there. And then we can close that. And then that'll go right there. Now the only thing I need to do is text other than English and then my bonus, the art scrap. So let me take a look at which art scrap I need to use. Oh, let's see. I think I let me see one of these. I think I like that one right there. So I'm just going, you know what, I'm just going to tear it. I am. Um, wow, that paper's thick. Is that watercolor paper? It is thick. Oh! Tearing is not as easy as I thought it would be. Goodness gracious. a little bit of this. I'm not going to need the whole thing. Um, and you know what? I may ink these both up with the pink. And then I'm going to move this out of the way for right now. So I'm going to put this like that and then that'll give me some room right here to do something with so let me ink this a little bit and again this is just the um victorian velvet it's um it's just a light pink and i'm just going around the edges just to kind of give it some dimension so that it doesn't all blend into the background. Now, I'm wondering if I want it there instead. If I do it like that, I could put some lace or something there. So, you know what? I'm not even going to think about it. I'm just going to do it. Yep. We're just doing it. I have a problem that if I stop and think about it too long, I start second guessing myself and then I just make a mess. Which I make a mess no matter what, but I make a bigger mess when I do that. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that right there. Get my little loose spreader. <laughs> and then I'm going to put my flower right there. That might, that is my art scrap. Oh, I have to tell you guys, um, my new website went public today. I am so super excited about that. Yes, um, I should, I'll have it linked below. Um, so if you have time, make sure you check it out. Well, look at there, that one wasn't bad at all. Um, I do want to put something over here. I'm just not sure what I want to put. Um, but, you know, it's done. So I'm going to leave that and I, I'll maybe come back and put something there. Let's see. Let me take a look and see what's on here and see if it's something that we can do. But um, I'm going to go ahead and close this video that. Um, so we have completed week seven of um, Margaret Miller's challenge. And thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed um, my video, make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up. It let's me know that you enjoy it. Um, hit that little bell the, um, so that you'll get a notification when I do post other videos. And um, I'm also on TikTok. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. Uh, obviously, YouTube. I have an Etsy shop. And I have a website, so you can get in touch with me any of those places. But thank you again for watching, and I hope you guys have a good um, evening. Well, it's 
late here. It's 11 o'clock. I can't see it. Anyway, good night, guys.